God bless you for making time to feed on the Word of God from this platform. I pray you'll be blessed by the Word of God today. Let's get into the Word from Pastor Kwame. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and present us faultless and blameless before God on that day. Hallelujah. I greet you on this Friday. We thank God this Friday. Isn't our God faithful? Isn't our God kind? A, a songwriter says, God, you are so good. God, you are so kind. God, you are wonderful. It's Friday. Amen. And as always, I want to make it my tradition to declare a blessing over your week. May may God favor you. May God bless you. May God keep you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I have a word for somebody on today. I'm reading from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah chapter 50, the division 7. This is a shouting verse. Hear this and hear it clearly. The Bible says now, but the Lord keeps me from being disgraced. So I refuse to give up because I know God will never let me down. I'll take it again. Isaiah chapter 50, the verse number 7. But the Lord keeps me from being disgraced. So I refuse to give up because I know God will never let me down. Hallelujah. I want to, I want to talk to you about disgrace. It's not part of your story. Disgrace is not part of your story. Hallelujah. Disgrace is not part of your story. Um, in, in, in this verse, or in, in Isaiah chapter 50, Isaiah is talking about the obedient prophet, the one that is doing the will of God, the one that is doing what God wants you to do, the one that is doing the right thing, the one that is seeking to fulfill God's purpose. And, 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 and anytime you see the word but, it means that right before that, is a lot of things. So the prophet talks about that this obedient servant, he goes through so much. People talk about him. People, and it's a picture also of a messianic prophecy, actually, because it says that, and they pull his beard. They're talking about the difficulty that uh, the right thing that seeks to happen in your life will go through. Let me say this before we even continue. Every right thing in your life is going to be difficult. Every right thing in your life is going to be difficult if you're going to maintain anything right in your life it's going to be difficult but that says the living god he wants you to understand that when it comes to disgrace you will never be disgraced hallelujah and and if 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 i send you a message on today that you will never be disgraced then the response is that therefore i won't give up are you hearing me if you will never be disgraced then don't give up and he says now, oh, God, help us. I, let me teach a little bit, can I? Right, so here is the word. Between God will never cause you to be disgraced and God will never let you down. In between is, is your confession that says, I will not give up. So I'm, let me prepare this sandwich for you. Do you understand? So the bread on the top is called never be disgraced the bread at the bottom of the sandwich is that god will never let you down and the meat is that i will not give up do you see that and so and so uh, and so when you hear the sound that god has decided to avoid you being disgraced even though the things that you are going through, even though the way things are going, it is very challenging. The Lord says, this is my part. I will ensure that you are never disgraced. I will ensure that you are never let down. I will think and you will think that if God ensures that I am, I am ensured against disgrace, I am ensured against me never going down, then automatically I will not give up. But it doesn't work like that. We have to make the choice not to give up. So there are some people listening to me that on your file, you have been ensured not to be disgraced. You have been ensured that God never let you down, but still you have given up. Why? Because when you saw the opposition, 
when you saw the difficulty you gave up but i came to remind you of this truth that regardless of who is against you regardless of what is against you you should never give up because behind the scenes in the secret place of the most high there is a provision that bruce pahataya that you will never be disgraced and you will never be let down the prophet says that for the good man the Lord has promised that he will never be disgraced and he will never let you down. Therefore, you don't give up. And so this is what I came to speak to you on this Friday. Behave with the knowledge that you will never be disgraced. Behave with the knowledge that you will never be let down. And why am I saying this on this Friday? Let me now begin to lay certain truth for you again. The good things in your life are supported by these verse the right things in your life are automatically supported by this verse i noticed when i was meditating is that everything at the moment if i sit you down and we talk about the things that are not going well in your life chances are some of them once upon a time used to be a good thing and because you gave up on it it has become a bad thing when you give up on your marriage your marriage becomes a bad thing when you give up when you give up on your faith your faith becomes a bad anything you give up on it be, it turns from a good thing to be a bad thing and so i want to encourage you on today to not give up not don't give up or don't give up and let me now also push it to the next level actually so this man of god is saying i won't give up because what is a, what he's going through is very difficult anytime you succeed you become a target of those who are failing anytime you are not like them they will hit you anytime you don't do what they do they will hit you because your presence irritates them and so anytime you are the one that is doing well the people around you will fight you so that's what a man of god was going through but i want you to understand on today that always and always when you have a right thing in your life don't let it go don't let the right things in your life go don't give up it says i refuse to give up hallelujah i pray that you will refuse to give up on your marriage i pray that you refuse to give up on your education i pray that you refuse to give up on pursuing holiness i pray that you refuse to give up on pursuing god's purpose for your life i pray that some of you delay delay is causing you to give up but don't give up hallelujah don't give up because at the end of the day the choice to give up is yours the provision is declared you are insured oh god let me read it for you again it says but the lord god keeps me from being disgraced but the lord god keeps me from being disgraced you will not be disgraced okay it looks like you are down it looks like it didn't work out people who are talking about you are saying that you, this is your end and 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 you are also agree that this is your end you don't want to try again but this is not your end okay don't give up you don't want to start again you don't want to believe god again you don't want to trust again you don't want to love again you don't want to uh, go forward again oh it is so easy to give up in a very cute way where you give a hundred and one excuses or where you give, oh, come on, my child of God, don't give up, okay? Uh, some of you, I came to awaken you to stand and not give up. Uh, don't give up, okay? And now, don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. Don't give up. This is a word for you, don't give up. I want to say it so that it sticks in your head. And all day you hear my voice in your head saying, don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. Don't give up, all right? Don't give up. You will not be disgraced. Now, let me now switch and close. If you give up, you'll be disgraced. If you give up, you'll be let down. Okay. And some of you, you are already trying to accept the fact that you are disgraced. You are ready to accept the fact that you are already down. But it's a lie of the enemy. Do you understand me? Any, anyone under the sound of my voice who is in a place of shame, in a place of not uh, able to do what you are called to do, and because of that, you have given up, I want you to know that it's a lie. You don't belong there because you are not supposed to be disgraced. 
So it means that if what you are going through is disgracing, it is just a, a time. If you don't give up, it will turn around. I prophesy that all the things that are disgraced will turn into grace in your life. All the things that look down will lift itself up because God will never let you down. God told me to tell you he will never let you down. You can't stand for him and he will not stand for you. God will never let you down. No matter what you're going through, God will never let you down. God is faithful. God is faithful. Be encouraged, all right? They will laugh at you. They will curse at you. Some of you, some of you, 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 you have been labeled as you are the one responsible for your own difficulty. People will say things that will hurt you, but I want you to understand, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. For the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. Let me pray with you. Father, we thank you. We stand on your promises. We will not be put to shame. We love you for you first loved us. In Jesus' name, amen.